Hello guys, don't switch off, this is not about outboards. <laughs> Promise. But I, I am using my seagull outboard just to demonstrate the point of this little video. And I've taken the flywheel off the outboard in order to make it crystal clear. And I, I want to just talk about or discuss cleaning the points. Now it's not for outboards, it can be for your lawnmower, it could be for your snowmobile. It could be for your motorbike, <coughs> pardon me, anything you like. Most modern engines use CDI, capacitor discharge ignition systems, and don't use points. But for the novice who want to know how to, to uh, service and clean points of older equipment, such as this, um, this little video is that's what it's about. I, I have on, on quite a few occasions been asked to look at engines um, can you look at this for me please, I've cleaned the points, I've put in a new plug and I still can't get a spark, blah 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 blah. And uh, in actual fact what a lot have done is try to murder the, the points. You've only got to have a look at, well, when you finish watching this, click on uh, cleaning points on, on YouTube and uh, see what some clowns do. They use uh, pieces of sandpaper raunching in and out there. They, uh, there's one clown uses one of those things and files away on his snowmobile. You want to avoid buying that snowmobile. You do not want to remove any surface from those contacts. They might look as though they're making an excellent mechanical contact. I mean, that spring is pushing that on there really hard. But it may not be an electrical contact. Have a look. You needn't take the flywheel off, as I say. You can look through the hole with a magnifying glass. Look to see if they're badly pitted. If they're just a coloured like that, browny, blacky, they just want cleaning. If they're really badly pitted, suspect your condenser. You'll find it somewhere. Um, it's usually across the points, and it probably has got open circuit. Anyway. Let's leave that for the time being. Cleaning these points, do not use files and sandpapers and God knows what. Go and buy some contact uh, cleaning tabs. They cost pennies. They're not the price of a packet of matches. It's not worth messing around. And don't forget how tight I am, so if I say it's not worth messing around, it's not worth messing around. So we want to retain the integrity of those points which is uh, maybe coated, they may be parallel, a machine, you know they're a precision thing, they're not meant to be abused. So what we need to do, the only thing that needs to be removed from them points is the dirt that stops the electrical connection, okay? Okay then, well in the event you haven't any tabs and you're stuck you can make a few of your own, but as I say, it's hardly worth it. Get yourself some crocus paper. I mean, that will cost you more than the tabs. Anyway, this is, it, or it can be wet and dry. It needs to be extremely fine. 600 grit is absolutely the maximum. Use 800 or more if you can get it, but, if, you know, that's the maximum coarseness you want to go for. So with a pair of scissors, you can take a little strip of that, cut it like so, fold it back on itself, so you've got double sided, okay, and you can slip that in the, in the points. If you want to make yourself up several, a better operation would be to cut a bigger piece and then using a PVA, glue two back to back, and then when dry, lay something flat on it, a big heavy book, cut up into little strips, and uh, 15 minutes doing that, you can make yourself 50 or 60 hundred, that'll last you for the rest of your life, right? So that's the material we can use for cleaning the, uh, the actual cleaning of the points. So if you're gonna go to this trouble, I said it's hardly really worth it, you also want some craft paper. This is 
I think it's called sugar paper. I know it looks like that. I could have got a different colour. Perhaps I should have done. But it's it's sugar paper. It's craft paper. It's a it's a fibrous absorbent paper. And again, you want well, just little strips. I just cut a quick piece off. Okay. Have you got any dioxin? That's excellent stuff. Um, hardly worthwhile buying any to. Um, for the job but just rub that on there spread it around and wait a moment till it soaks through and you'll find it'll come to on the back give it a minute there we go it's coming through that's the front that's the back wait till the shine's gone I'll speed this along okay that's our cleaning cab or on a the other end of the cleaning cab, the one that's usually uh, a red colour, but we we haven't we we're, we're we're stuck, so we're doing this. Okay, this is the best way to do it. An alternative, if you haven't got any dioxit, although a bit wasteful, Electrolube switch cleaner, bit of a waste, but do that. Let it soak. Make yourself a little tad. Okay? Back to the points. Rotate your engine to a point where the points are closed. And then taking our little tab, open up the points, drop our tab in there, and let them close. So it's now under tension from that spring. And just simply pull it up like that. Do it again. Sorry if my hand's in the way. Slowly pull it up. Turn the tab brown. Let's get some fresh grit. Put it in there. Do it a few times. I'm going to do it again. Now I'm going to do it once more. And that's it. That should have removed all the dirt and the muck. Now take your piece of sugar paper that you've just soaked, because this dries out when it evaporates, so one you've just soaked. Open up the points, drop it in, let them close. Do not remove the tab, do not pull on it. If you do, it'll break up and leave pieces of paper inside. Just leave it for a minute or two, if you've got the patience. Then just open up the points, take it out, and that's all you need do. Before we reassemble the engine, just slowly turn it over to the points open. And then with the correct feeler gauge, just check that we've got the correct gap there. That will be in your workshop manual, etc. But if it was alright, it will still be alright. We haven't altered anything. We have not removed anything from those points. It's, 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 no, it's virtually not measurable. So unless you've been a plonker and used something like that to file away at them, um, this will serve you in good stead. But if you've used that, you'll be breaking down again before too long.